So this is, you can't see it very well, you might have to get a close-up of this, but this is um, essentially a piece of shale, I believe, that has trilobite fossils in it, and I found this on one of my field trips in Death Valley. And the neat thing about this is that trilobites went extinct 65 million years ago, which is not a lot of time, geologically speaking, but for all of us, not rocks, creatures, uh, that's a really long time. So I was excited about that. And when I showed it to my professor, he was like, Lordy, that's, that's the most trilobites per square inch I've ever seen. <laughs> so I was kind of excited. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's fun. Um, I've never had anyone be like, you're a rock nerd, ah, I hate you. Which would be really uncalled for, I think. <laughs> but um, I think pretty much everyone I know knows that I like rocks. And I also wonder if it's like a weird, um, uh, just collecting thing that I just like to pick them up and it's kind of like a treasure hunt and I don't need them. And I bring them back and they end up sitting in boxes and a lot of them aren't that nice. And a lot of them I get home and I'm like, why did I pick this up? I don't know. <laughs> On a couple of field trips, we've thrown rocks out the windows that I, they, my friends were like, why did you pick this up? I don't know, <laughs> out the window. <laughs> my object is a crossbow, a pistol crossbow. I got it maybe a month ago, I think. I ordered it on Amazon.com. I shot at a box. I've shot at, uh, what else have I shot at? A soy sauce bottle. And it pierced it and went through some newspapers. It was really fun. I feel like I'm fighting for my survival, like on Walking Dead. <laughs> my favorite character is Daryl Dixon. He has a crossbow, an actual crossbow, not a pistol. So he's somewhat cooler than I am. I don't quite find it embarrassing. I really like showing people when they come over, no matter how close of a friend they are. Uh, I find myself the type of person who is very protective over my, my belongings, my home, my family, and my friends. I really like my crossbow. I really like owning it. I'm really glad I purchased it. I'm really glad that it was cheap and I'm very, very happy with it, and I don't care what anybody else thinks about it. My embarrassing objects are photos from one of those Japanese photo booths that a bunch of girls take pictures in. The way it's done is you take pictures with somebody in a booth, and you get to add a bunch of like girly stuff onto it, like hearts, and the backgrounds are really girly and whatnot. And Personally, I don't know any guys who just go out and do that with other dudes. Uh, I wasn't like, oh yeah, let's do that on me first or something. But looking back on it, I'm glad I did it. Because it's not the picture, it's the memory. And it's that I opened my, uh, myself up to Tiffany enough to take something like this. Because I think like maybe a year ago, I wouldn't have ever agreed upon doing that. I think it's something for me, and if people see it, then that's fine. I didn't do it for them. I go to Mohutong. Gonna 去四間<笑>
，文化最重要。今日咧，我就嚟介紹下呢一樽酒。呢樽酒咧係佢個爸爸用咗幾種藥材，再加一啲度數好高嘅酒嚟浸成嘅。有杞子，有鹿茸，有黨參，溝埋一齊浸嘅。咁咧，佢嘅酒嘅度數係好高嘅，係用。嗰啲濃度好高嘅二鍋頭嚟浸嘅，大概浸咗一年到，咁佢就開始飲啦。每日咧就用呢一杯，大概飲誒、呃、半杯到啦。咁咧就從咁滿咁滯一路飲飲到嚟呢度。佢話咧對身體好，同埋咧對佢嘅頭髮有幫助，因為佢已經得翻好少頭髮。飲咗之後咧，可能會再出多啲頭髮，但係好奇怪，我覺得佢飲咗咁多，從呢度上面飲到落嚟呢度下邊啦，都唔見有頭髮出。This Blade Diablo body spray. The Blade Diablo deodorant body spray smells like gasoline and oil. Uh, I would walk around with it in public. I'd spray it because you know I think that I smell bad, but it actually is worse. I'd walk around. I remember I was at school after PE, and I and I and I was like, "Oh man, I smell pretty bad." But I sprayed it, and it was even worse. Like throughout the whole day, everyone would be like, "What's that smell?" And I'd be like, "I don't know. What is it?" And I would just try to pretend that it's not me and it's somebody else. I wouldn't recommend this body spray because it smells pretty bad. But my friend gave it to me for free, so I guess it's pretty good. I wear these every day. Um, I'm not actually sure about their origins, but all I know is that my mom gave them to me, and she probably bought them from like Chinatown somewhere, from like a booth or something. They're kind of they're actually too small for me. Like they're not they're they're size ten, and I wear like size thirteen shoes. So like, but they fit really. They fit, but they're kind of tight. Um, yeah, I'd say they're better than socks because they fit. They fit looser than socks. Like with socks, like you have to sort of like struggle, like put them on, take them off and on. But these you can just kind of like kick them off with your feet. Zebra print isn't really a, a common sort of print, especially on shoes. You almost never see them on shoes, or you know. So I think they're very unique in that way.